Hi everybody. In this video, I would like to show you how to share notebooks with SageMaker Studio. Here, I logged into Studio with one of my users. I cloned the repo and opened the notebook. It's a simple scikit-learn notebook. It will be just fine for our demo. So let's just run all the cells. And um, let's say we want to share those results with someone on the team, get them to look at the code, the metrics, etc., etc. Okay, so I can save that notebook locally, and then I can just click on share in the top right corner. And since this notebook comes from a clone repo, I can include the name of the repo for reference, and I can include the output because I want my colleague to take a look. So I just click on create, and uh, immediately I get a link to the notebook. So I just copy the link and I would send this link to the person uh, I want to share it with. Okay, here I have another uh, browser with a private session and a different user. Okay, so this is not the same user that uh, I use to run the notebook. Okay, so somebody sent me that link and I can just open a tab here, copy the link, and this will open the snapshot that uh, the previous user created okay all right here it comes and i get a read-only preview so if i just need to take a quick look there's nothing else to do right or if i want to run that notebook myself then i can just click on create a copy and this creates a local read write copy of the notebook and then, of course, I could run it myself, right? And try to see, uh, you know, if I can tweak uh, those results and get better accuracy, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so super simple, um, much simpler than having to commit your notebook to a repo, you know, plus this is really just a temporary thing. There's no reason to actually commit it. Um, you know, you could also, uh, download it and send it, but then you have to send the file, etc. So, you know, there all kinds of, uh, of problems can happen there. So this is just a one-click way to share a notebook with anybody in your organization. And, uh, and I think it's pretty simple. That's it for today. Thank you for listening.